Yo, back here again. So, came back today just to answer a question um, I got a while back from my guy Dakota. I've been meaning to answer this question and put it on the vlog because I think it's a really good question. And I know a lot of guys have asked me this and they really want to know the answer to this question. So the question my guy Dakota asked me was, he was looking to go the semi-pro route to play basketball. And he basically asked me, is semi-pro a good route to get overseas? Now, it's hard to answer that question with one distinct answer, but I'll say this, it depends on your situation. So, for instance, I'll speak on myself because that's what I know best. I decided not to play semi-pro. Now, I had the option to, but I decided not to because I knew that semi-pro would not help me get overseas. Because I know that a lot of overseas teams do not respect semi-pro basketball. Even though it may be more competitive than a lot of overseas teams, a lot of overseas teams don't respect semi-pro basketball, just keeping it blunt. And so for me, it wasn't going to help me because I've already been overseas. I've already played internationally. So if you've already played internationally, semi-pro is not going to take you to the next level overseas. Now, on the other hand, my man Dakota, now I'll tell you a little about, I, I don't want to put all your business out there, my guy, but he says he's 19, about to be 20, and um, he played one year of varsity, and now he's looking to go semi-pro, and he's heard that the coach there has overseas connections. Now, for guys out there who don't have a big resume, who didn't really go to college who don't really have much of a resume on them I think semi-pro won't hurt you I really don't because for one it's good film and for two it's never bad to network with people who are in the basketball world so when you go and play semi-pro you'll run into guys who have played overseas and then you're running the coaches who have connections overseas, supposedly. Now, I'm not saying that these connections will automatically get you overseas, but to actually have those options is always a good thing because there's, there's this thing called the six degrees of separation. That means somebody you meet is six people away from somebody you want to meet. Like, there's a person, like, I know somebody that's six people away from knowing LeBron James, something like that. You know what I mean? So basically, there if you just continue to network with people and in the basketball world, you'll find somebody that can help you. If you have the game. That's what it comes down to, too. Y'all, that's one thing that you guys gotta know. That when you go out here trying to play and you know, trying to get to, to the next level or whatever. This this goes primarily to my guy who Dakota who's who's in this situation where he's 19 or 20. Bro, let yourself develop. You're 20 years old. Like I understand pro basketball sound like the world, but it ain't what it seemed, bro. Like when you first start off, it, it ain't gonna be a lot of money coming in, especially without you having a resume. I always tell you guys to build your resume up. There there and then it doesn't help when you hear stories like guys who have played semi-pro that went overseas now a lot of guys who go play semi-pro first and then go overseas they actually use semi-pro to get film but the reason they're overseas isn't just because of semi-pro now semi-pro has shown a, a part of their game that a team overseas may like but overall the reason they got over there is because of some type of accolades they had in high school or not high school i'm sorry in college that uh, in addition to that and the film they got from semi-pro they've made it overseas i've had a friend a few friends who've done it like that so it's, it's possible but you guys need to build your resume up there aren't many guys out there with no experience and then they go semi-pro and then they go overseas that's not how it works you got to have some type of resume especially if you're young but um semi-pro isn't a bad option and then you guys out there who who you know you guys i know everybody got the g league dream and all this nba dream semi-pro is a is a is a good 
is a good way to check yourself, to check your game. I would definitely suggest going semi-pro if you've only played one year varsity because you need to kind of see where you are compared to other players. A lot of you guys can be at home and you go to your local gym and you're the best player at your rec center, but that's just a that's just a small sample group of the world you know you need to go and actually play against really good players because when i'm telling you when you play against top-notch players it'll humble you it'll humble you and it'll tell you how much you need to work when you actually go out there and put yourself out there so i definitely suggest if you want to go overseas or you you thinking about it go play semi-pro and it'll one it'll test where you are currently at where your game is at if you're able to kill semi-pro then you know that you can take it to the next level. But if you ain't killing in a semi-pro environment, because I'm telling you, real real pros, they killing that stuff. They, they, they be tearing people up in the semi-pro. So if you can go and you can kill in that, then you know you can probably work to go get somewhere else. But um don't um don't don't rush into things. This goes out to my guy Dakota. Don't rush into things, don't go trying to be a pro and you only got one year high school varsity you got to put a reality check on yourself like you guys you young guys i know y'all want to go get that money but man just enjoy yourself enjoy your youth this overseas basketball thing it takes a big chunk of your life away from your family away from your friends and stuff it's fun but it ain't everything that you think it is so um that's all i got to say on that subject uh if you already played overseas and you go semi-pro, it's not going to help you get to a higher level. It actually will hurt you. And if you play semi-pro and then you go overseas, you probably won't start off on a high level. They'll probably get you on a on a low-level team. Semi-pro teams aren't very respected, to be honest. Like, they're just not. It's unfair, but that's just the way they view things. So it won't, it won't get you too far, but it'll get you in the door if you are looking to get in the door. So that's all I really got to say on that subject. Uh, appreciate the question. You guys got any more questions, please hit me back. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm out. Go subscribe to these dirt. Yeah. And go press the like button.